What's up, it's Alec here at Soulful Guitar Lessons. Welcome. If you are a guitar player that plays soul, R&B, and pop, this lesson is for you, and it's probably gonna make a few people uncomfortable and kind of beat their head against the wall. We're gonna talk about whammy bars and how you've probably been playing with a whammy bar for years, but you've been doing it wrong. I know I was, I was corrected many years ago by a good friend of mine, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Stick around. Let me see if you can hear the difference between these two. That's example one, here's example two. If you can't hear the difference between the two, you're probably playing with a whammy bar wrong. Now before I show you the guitar and exactly what I'm doing, let's get into some theory about why we use the whammy bar in the first place. So if we have our whammy bar, the idea is to create a vibrato around the note. So let's say that this is our note that we're playing. Um, what we want to do is create a vibrato around it. So the pitch is gonna go up above the note and down below the note, sharp and flat and sharp and flat, and it vibrates and it sounds pretty. Now, what a lot of people probably do is just play with the whammy bar and they play and they make it go flat. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I'm gonna show you. Now, if you're using the whammy bar and you're only going this way, you're only pushing the whammy bar down and you're not pulling it back up, you are playing the whammy bar incorrectly. So what do I mean by that? Let's, let's have a little example. So we are playing the whammy bar and we're only gonna play it down so it's only gonna go flat from the note or the chord. Okay, it's fine but it's wrong. What we wanna do is we want it to go flat, right? And we want it to also go sharp. And we're gonna do it kind of quickly and gently so it sounds like this. Right, so if you can hear the difference, here is it just here it is just going flat, and here it is going flat and sharp, or creating a vibrato. Now I know this lesson is about to help you out a lot because for years I was doing it wrong. I was just playing the whammy bar flat. You know, I was just going flat. And what you want to do is have a raised bridge. See how my br bridge is raised? So that I can go flat. Check it out. But I can also go sharp. When I was first playing, this bridge was locked to the guitar, so I was only able to go flat, and man, I wish somebody would have told me sooner, because it sounds bad. <laughs> There's no way around it. Now this lesson is just a PSA, a little announcement, a little warning, that there is a better way to do it, and make sure your vibrato isn't just going flat, because when you're singing, right, you're singing and you have a vibrato, the, you are going sharp and flat around the pitch, right, in a very fast motion, and it sounds pleasant, but if you're only going flat, it sounds a bit wonky, and so we want our guitar to emulate the voice, okay? And I wish somebody would have told me sooner. The person that told me was actually Anders Nordstrom. He's been on this channel before, and he told me this about like seven or eight years ago. He's like, yeah, okay, dude, it sounds good, but did you know that you're playing incorrectly? Like you're playing the whammy bar, and you're just going flat instead of like sharp and flat? And I was like, wait a minute, what? I've been playing this wrong for how many years and oy, I could have like I was like beating my head against the wall and so this is to help anyone out this is to help anyone out that has experienced the same thing that I've experienced and been playing wrong for years so anyways thank you so much for tuning in my name is Alec please leave a comment if you found this useful and I'll see you next week take care